3-0. and oh. That's the record for Yun. Plays 12 and 7. What any of that means tonight? Well, we will find out in the next 15 minutes. First as round. this heavyweight division bout face-off, which is a real clash of the titans here in our main event tonight. Erko Yun, Marius Pujanovski. Pujanovski looks very solid and heavy at the weight. Erko Yun looks fast, he's sharp, the strikes are quick, and he needs to keep out of the way, because if Marius Pujanovski takes him to the ground, well, I think it could be all over. But Yun understands that, the low kicks and the punches, and just look at the concentration. Partisan crowd in for Pujanovski, but uh, Yun, certainly a crowd pleaser here, trying to unite the Balkans. Powerful low kick there from Pujanovski. But uh, Pujanovski having a care, bullies his man up against the ropes as Erko Yun gets pinned with that uh, underhook there. Chris, where do you think it'll go from here? I think it's all about the clinch from Irish Pujanovski. This is what he wanted. You can see him trying to punch his way into the fence. I also think the kick to set that up is good. Chop the base of Erko Yun. It's not what he wants to take you down. For Erko, he's got to avoid the wire. He's got to punch selectively, get to space, do the dance, and try to tire Pujan out, pick him off. Well, we've seen Erko Yun respond positively to a lot of pressure, but those, those have been against fighters that really don't rank, in my opinion, as highly as uh, uh, Pujanovski. Pujanovski, again, improves his game. I think Akob Shostek was a real challenge for Yun, and he proved himself there. But uh, in terms of Oshvinchensky, I don't think that was a real challenge. But look, he's relaxed. Yun is really trying to uh, conserve energy. And uh, I think for him, the key will be is to try and get Pujanovski to gas out early because Pujanovski doesn't like going the distance. He's fighting for underhooks right now. Pujan's got those double unders. It's not quite as deep as he'd like on the left, and Erko knows this is trying to pummel in. I think that's where the patience and the shoulder pressure, of course, the head fight is coming from at this point. Well, it's a steep mountain for Erko Yun, and he's happy just to relax there. Looks composed. I have to say that Pujanovski could have worked the knees, could have done an awful lot more in that position, but he's been sluggish, tries to take down with that drop squat. That's got to be an awful amount of pressure to deal with the five times world's strongest man trying to pull you down. But this is where Yun now comes into his own. He'll be looking for the strikes, and Pujanovski knows it. And there's an awful lot of panic in the hands of Pujanovski as Yun likes the strikes. Well, Yun winning the battle of punches here as he knocks the gum shield out of Pujanovski. And Yun quick to get going, back in. There's the knee strike and Pujanovski acknowledges it. And Erko Yun just needs to have a care, make sure he doesn't gas out early. But these hands, he's reaching in Yun and really landing the touch. The left hand catches Pujanovski again. And there again, those big heavy hands. Pujanovski tries to take it to the mat. Yun doesn't want to go. Up goes the high kick. This is a great performance from Erko Yun. The young pretender comes to take the crown. And just look at Pujanovski, really wary. Did he underestimate Yun? I don't know. We'll find out. He's been rattled a couple of times so far, Will. Erko's doing a good job. I think he's got his back to space where he wants it. But this is what he didn't want. Double unders to the outside trip. Well, that's what he didn't want. And I said, as soon as he went to the ground and Pujanovski got into that top mount position, that Erko Yun was going to be in a world of pain. Yun has not survived this position before. And this is Pujan's office. He's got a hook in. And look at him go to work here now. And I tell you, this is going to be a rough ride now for Erko Yun. There's still a minute on this clock. And Erko Yun needs some escapology here because look at the face the look of Marius Pujanovski as he looks to rain power down. This is the worst position Eric Yun has ever been in in his entire career. pujan has got that mount. The grapevine hooks him and stretching him out, flattening him down, posturing, pushing the head down to the canvas to try to just get that big shot in. Credit to Yun, it's been good mitigation thus far. Well, it's all about survival for Eric Yun now. There's just over half a minute left, and really, Marius Pujanovski really stretching out the rules boundary here, putting that cross face in, 
hand over the mouth, getting that elbow across. The clock's ticking down. Can you survive? I have to say, it's going to be a bruising, bruising 17 seconds now. And the referee is saying to Marius Putinovsky, be careful. I'm watching for the open hand. Can you survive? He's going to need to because the clock is ticking down. Putinovsky's not done enough. And Yun has spoiled him, holding him in. Yun will survive. And that is a full mount from Marius Pudjanovski. And Yun has fallen into the trap again and uh, gets taken down. But this time Yun gets on top. And this is where the pain starts to happen. Marius Pudjanovski now in a world of pain. Erko Yun round and pound. And that's the key word here. And the referee has to step in. Wow. Not sure what happened there. He's obviously calling a halt to the action. Let's take a look at it. Okay. You grab an in the cage, okay? You lose your position, okay? You lose your position, you start to stand on. The next time, one point deduction. You understand me? So okay. a warning there to Erko Yun for holding the cage. And, uh, you know, well, desperate times call for desperate measures. Incredibly enough, Erko Yun is the one here that's starting to blow. And, uh, you know, Pujanovsky starting to take shots, goes for the shoot, but Erko Yun fires in the shot. These are landing like ballistic missiles. And Erko Yun just has to be a bit more thoughtful about what he's doing. But Pujanovsky eating shots here like it's going out of fashion. He's got to be careful he doesn't punch himself out, Will. Yun's going to go for it here. He smells the finish. Pujan on the ropes, on the wire, gets the double leg. Well, you're right. Yun was starting to run the tank dry here. And look at Pujanovsky, you can't keep this man down. Yun fortunate that he's got an open guard here. But if he allows Pujanovsky to pass with three minutes on the clock, that's a lot, a lot of trouble there for Yun. And uh, he's allowed Pujanovsky to pass. And I think this mark marked the beginning of the end here for Erko Yun. He's thinking about taking an arm. For a second, Pujan was holding on to the arm, but I think this is the smarter strategy. Sit low on the hips, keep punching. Referee giving a warning here, this looks close. Well, that's it, it's all over, and Pujanovsky has done it. Erko Yun has not been able to respond. The crowd unhappy about it, but Erko Yun paid the price for a flawed strategy here tonight. In fact, we said to Erko, do not let Pujanovsky get into a mount position and twice it's happened and it was well a bridge too far.